Peace and love, family. Smell here. I am going to show you how you can easily flip loops, specifically like splice loops, and reasons. Um, one of the reasons that you, <laughs> one of the reasons, <laughs> in reason, right? One of the reasons that you want to flip, because a lot of times these loops are used by many, 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 many times a hundred <laughs> other producers when they're making their, their beats. So uh, if you just use the loops only, you will probably run into a situation where um, if you put the record out, even though it's royalty free, um, you may get a copyright notice because someone else has that loop out before you with the beat especially if it's like soloed or something like that. Um, and, you know, who wants to keep hearing the same loop, uh, especially if it's a hot loop or a loop that's pretty popular or, you know, just in time uh, you find out, man, somebody uh, did the same exact loop like me. I mean, it, you know, this is small change, but anyway, if you wanted some ideas on how to flip or whatever, and, and this is a very simple process, so let's get into it. Um, first, I'm, I'm, I already kind of got some work here going, so, but I'm going to play the loop that um, for this evening's class. <laughs> uh, it is OS VMT uh, loop here. Vibe Stack is the name of it. So yeah, so it's a great loop. Really could just let it ride out, right? And um, from that same pack, I have um, some drums, um, the OS VMT uh, 90 beats per minute drum loop one full. I'll let you guys uh, check that out. Here you go. Pretty much that's the drum. So um, for the loop itself, uh, you can easily just take this loop, right, and throw it into reason. I mean, um, I'm sorry, Dr. Ox Rex. And how you would do that, uh, pretty much uh, you would just kind of highlight this, uh, put it in slice edit mode. Right, which I've already done, but just to give you an idea, this is not a great example, seem like, because it's already slicing it. But as you can see here, it's already sliced up. I don't, I'm not sure how to get reasons to say slice by bar, slice by region, slice by, you know, how you want to slice like maybe other dogs uh, look like to me reasons just slice according to the transits and sometimes for this this could be great and what I did is here I just went ahead and I didn't try to you know slice it myself this is just a quick you know just a quick way to just get it here and create um, and right here where it's your uh, what I did here for Mac, I think I hit control, but you want to go to your control panel or edit panel where you have these choices to pop up and uh, you want to hit bounce clip to reason loop. And what will happen is it will bounce it over here um, in your side panel. Uh, hit song samples click assign samples 
and you'll see um, like a Dr. Rex type file tag or cover there with that loop that you just sampled. Throw it into reasons, it's going to be already chopped, right? And just play around with uh, the chops that they gave you or provided for you. So, um, you know, no need to do all of that. I'm going to show you or let you hear how I chopped up what it just it just kind of gave me. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so there it is, you know, um, so, it, you know, you got a whole different vibe going on right there. Okay, now to go to the next level, to splice that up a little bit, you know, to, to take a little bit more out of it, you can go in here and take this same file, right, and throw it into... Uh, one of my favorite uh, instruments and in, in reasons, and that's the grain, the grain here. And you could just play around to find, and, and let me show you how you do that. Let's see. Um, you hit this browse little folder, I believe, and just drag it in here. I think you could just drag it in here without doing a browse, but, um, you know, I'm already, I've already done that part. So it's not hard to do. So either the two and you can kind of move around, you know, where you want this thing to be. Hopefully I didn't just mess up something <laughs> where I had my, uh, chops at. Um, and I'm gonna let you guys, hear what I did with that. It's the same sample. I mean, same loop sample. <laughs> So you see, I mean, now we're getting, I mean, we, you know, that's some sauce. That's, that's where a lot of the sauce is coming right there. We got some meat in there, but now we need something to flavor that baby up. And so a lot of times your one shots, um, or, you know, getting, finding little loops, little sounds within the loops and creating a sound out of it, or creating something even weird out of it. It's going to give you that sauce over your chops, whatever chops that you choose uh, to put put together. Right. OK, so uh, for me. So let's hear it all together um, before I go on to the next part. So we get get y'all vibing. Uh, well, you know, the feel of everything here. Hopefully I got it all lined up right. So yeah, so you, we, we got it. So that right there alone, it can ride, you can really kind of ride out with that and just, uh, you know, do some filtering for the verse, you know, like, you know, cut the highs down or do some, you know, crazy little effects on it, you know, to make it a little different for the verse and bring that back on the chorus and, or in and out on the verse and chorus. So you really can ride out. But for me, what I thought would, would be to somewhat kind of mimic those chords um, on top of, of uh, the meat of the chops. So I added some chords. Now this is a getting, getting a little more sophisticated here 
uh for what i did you have to you know kind of know how to play some keys and find notes and pianos and notes and all that but uh certainly if you find the scale find out what the scale is uh family you can you can get in there and, and create some chords um it's you know um it's a little more work but it's not impossible it's not impossible so let me let uh, i'm gonna let you hear what chords i i did with this um on this. Okay, so there we have our chords, and so what I'll do, that give me the option to take out that sample chop, right? So here. That's going to give me variety and, you know, it's it's going to kind of make it move a little bit. So for me, just to have this beat, this beat is a rider. So you don't need to do too much. But for me, I wanted to make a spot where, you know, just a variety to it where I added. I took a Porsche, this little kick. And I wanted to kind of double kick right here to give it a, just a little something different um the average person won't notice it but they definitely will feel that the the beats you know the drummer kind of is kind of live and he switched it up the drummer is not going to always play a rhythm straight straight all all the way through a song so just having these little varieties and that's something simple uh, what i did for that is uh where am i okay sorry about that what i did is um i took my uh razor chopped that that was a kick then i had to come up here then i had to create a new audio channel which i did here and then i just uh how you i it's con what is it it's on the mac is option and click and you see that plus button and i just dragged it on down here so let me lock that back yeah and i don't didn't want to lock it necessarily so you know i didn't want to quant you know just it absolutely quantize uh just to give it some you know some feel some some feel to it some swing to it like a back swing you know like if you if you hit a drum pop this from the time you hit it and your arm goes up your hand goes up that's the swing time so your swing time is gonna sometimes make it fall behind fall above a little bit and it might go back and forth that's what kind of gives that that makes that drum breathe. Uh, if you ever hear people talking about that swing, uh, it's, it's the swinging of the, of the drummer's movement, uh, that time in between the hit um, that that uh, sometimes, well, a lot of times makes a makes a signature for the for a drummer um, on on his sound and his style of play. So let's let's hear that right quick. And let you Hold up, it didn't do it. Let's do it. Okay, here you go. See that little buru? right there yeah you felt it didn't you you felt it right yeah so 
that's going to, um, that gives it a little variety and you don't have to do it all over. Like I, here, I just got it one little spot. Um, going in from that last, those last, like the third, the last third of the four, the last four ball portion, the third bar, I believe I put that in there. And that's pretty much, you know, that's how you could just come in here and easily flip your, your loops. Um, you know, one, one thing I wanted to do and I found out that I didn't even know that reasons can do. Uh, let me show you this family. Let me give you a little jewel. Uh, maybe it's just me. But um, that little badoop, I wanted to lower, you know, transpose that down a little bit. So I click on this. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. So y'all can see a little better. All right. Let's get it back in the picture. Okay, so I wanted to transpose this. You click this and hit pitch edit. Look at this. Melon time is like, uh, melon time, is that the name of it? <laughs> um, pitch correction right here in the DAW. That's crazy, man. Uh, this is reason 11, by the way. I did not know this was possible. So here, I'm just going to take it. Look, it gives, it sounds a note. That's kind of the key where is that? Uh, let's see what it do. We're gonna find out both of us right here. That is like, man. Reasons, man. You know, I gotta admit, Ableton is my go to, but I like to switch it up sometimes when I need some inspiration or just, you know, get some different vibes and uh, work in another DAW. And Reasons is one of those DAWs that do that for me. All right, along with some other ones, but Reasons definitely. <laughs> I like that, but I think I want it, I want to pitch it up rather than down. I want to pitch it up like, so we just come back. Maybe two up. Let's uh, bring it, let's bring the play back a little closer, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, family. Um, there it is. That's how you can easily flip. Um, and reasons using loops, uh, particularly splice loops. Peace of love, S. Marshall, aka Smell. Check me out at Smell dot World. I got exclusive beats for you. Uh, first come, first serve. You know, beats that are not recycled. <laughs> Peace and love. Hit that like. Give me your comments. Subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Peace and love. See y'all in the wind.